idea. We're going to just estimate the slope of the tangent line. Um, let's do that down here. So I've set up this chart to help us compute slopes of secant lines. For instance, um, the example I just did, I started with x equals 0. This corresponds to the point on the graph of my function 0, 0 squared, so that's just 0, 0. Now, the slope of the secant line through the point 1, 1, and 0, 0 is just going to be uh, equal to 0 minus 1 over 0 minus 1, so that's just 1. Okay, um, so if we go back to the original um, graph, this means that 1 is the slope of the line that pass the secant line passing through these two points. The slope of this line is 1, so that gives me an estimate for the slope of the tangent line. It's got to be somewhere near 1. Okay, so furthermore, the equation of the secant line that I have right here is going to be y minus 1 equal to 1 times x minus 1. Okay. Um, I, could get, I could get a better estimate than that, though. Instead of using uh, x equals 0, as I have here, I'm going to get even closer to 1. And I'm going to pick uh, 0 0.5. So if I use 0 0.5, Zero, then f of x here is x squared, so 0 0.5 is 0 0.25, and I'm looking at the point 0 0.5, 0 0.25. That's this point right here on the graph. Okay, And the slope of the secant line through the point 1, 1, and this point is given by 0 0.25 minus 1 over 0 0.5 minus 1. And this is just um, going to give me 1.5. Okay. Which tells me um, that the equation, so that, that gives me the slope of this line right here in the middle. Okay, and that tells me the equation of the new secant line is y minus 1 equal 1.5. Okay. So here I can see that um, the slope of my tangent line is unknown. This line has, secant line has slope 1.5. This secant line has slope 1. And now we're going to try to get even closer to 1. I'm going to move in all the way to x equal 0 0.9. So I'm so close to 1 that this is going to be difficult to draw. So I take 0 0.9, which is very close to 1, and x squared, when x is 0 0.9, x squared is equal to 0 0.81. So I'm going to calculate the slope of the secant line, and I get 0 0.81 minus 1 over 0 0.9 minus 1, and this gives me 1.9. So the slope looks like it's approaching 2 as my value for x gets closer to 1. The equation of this secant line, which is almost going to it's going to be very close to the tangent line something like that um, the equation of this line is y minus 1 equal to 1.9 times x minus 1 <clears throat> so you can see that it seems like the slopes of the tangent lines are approaching or the uh, slopes of the secant lines are approaching the value 2 I could take another value of x for instance, 0 0.999, that's even closer to 1, and you can probably guess that this is going to get closer to 2. Um, for all three of these, I've approached 1 from the left, 
Okay, but we could also approach one from the right and choose values on the right side of one.